Let's look now at the acidity at the alpha carbons of a series of carbonyl compounds with different substituents linked to the carbonyl group. So we'll look at acyl chlorides, aldehydes, ketones, esters, and amides. What we find in this series is that acidity decreases going from left to right. The acid or acyl chloride is the most acidic, and the aldehyde is the least acidic. The reasons for this are not immediately clear, but it's evident that it has something to do with the substituent that's attached to the carbonyl carbon. One of the things we notice is that as the electronegativity of this group attached to the carbonyl carbon decreases, or as its electron donating ability goes up, the acidity of the compound goes down. And we can understand this acidity trend by considering electron donation from this other substituent. And so this trend is really a combination of inductive effects due to the electronegativity of that group and resonance effects involving the donation of electron density to the carbonyl carbon. Let me show you what I mean using a generic example here. So let's replace this substituent linked to the carbonyl carbon with a gen generic X substituent, still considering methyl substituted derivatives and the acidity of this methyl hydrogen. Deprotonation of the methyl hydrogen ultimately results in the donation of electron density to the carbonyl carbon since the CH bonding electrons become involved in a new pi bond to the carbonyl carbon after deprotonation. So there's donation of electron density to the carbonyl carbon. At the same time, through resonance, the X group donates electron density to the carbonyl carbon. And so while a proton is not being transferred in the course of these blue curved arrows kind of running their course, there's still electron donation going on to the carbonyl carbon. So what we have going on here is a kind of internal competition for donation of electron density. Deprotonation donates electron density to the carbonyl carbon through this red arrow, but resonance donation from the X group also donates electron density to the carbonyl carbon. When X is a strong electron donating group, the electrophilicity or electron accepting ability of the carbonyl carbon is low. This means that the acidity of the alpha carbon is relatively weak. Notice that as we go from the highly electronegative and electron withdrawing, really inductively anyway, chlorine atom to the nitrogen atom, which is a great electron donor at nitrogen and not very electronegative, we get much, much less acidic. So the stronger the donating ability of this atom linked to the carbonyl carbon, the less acidic are the hydrogens on the other side of the carbonyl group. This trend is worth keeping in mind, and really it's not worth memorizing. The thing to notice is that as we increase the electron donating ability of a group linked to a carbonyl carbon, the carbonyl carbon becomes less electrophilic. So for example, if we use a blue circle to indicate the electrophilic strength of the carbonyl carbon, the most electrophilic is very clearly the acyl chloride, followed by the aldehyde, followed by the ketone, followed by the ester, and then the least electrophilic of all is the amide. It's this decreasing electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon due to donation from the attached substituent that leads to the observed trend in Bronsted acidity of the alpha carbons.